What's going on, y'all? It's the Face Mask Podcast. My name is John Alsace, and today, well, just now, uh, some news dropped. Apparently, according to NFL scores, I mean, Roto World, let's just call it Roto World, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reports free agent running back James Conner underwent surgery to repair a very moderate turf toe type injury this offseason. It was also reported that he was visiting the Arizona Cardinals. So it's funny this news comes out concurrently, both within the same day. It also makes sense now as to why James Conner's market's been so quiet. Probably because before he would go around to say to, to teams for them to get a look, good look at him, he would want to have recovered somewhat from whatever surgery he had. Apparently, full recovery is expected by June. And I'm not sure if I should be concerned or not. Because he has only appeared in 23 of 32 possible games over the past two years. So he's picked up this injury prone label. And yeah, I'm worried because I have him. I have shares of him. I bought in full into the James Conner situation a few years ago. And uh, I was kind of worried as to where he would go. I'm hoping he signs with the cards because... Like I said, news came out concurrently that he was visiting the Arizona Cardinals. This would be a great landing spot for James Conner. I would love it. It would rehab his value. Uh, in Dynasty, I could probably try to sell him off, <laughs> to be honest with you. And uh, no, I, he actually, he, if he went to Arizona, he wouldn't be a person I'd be trying to divest myself up. Let's dig into his 2020 campaign. Through the first 10 games... He was the RB12. He was the lowest of running back ones, but he was technically a running back one. He had 170 touches for 645 yards and five touchdowns. So those five touchdowns definitely boosted his his ranking for sure. Uh, He had another 25 receptions for 145 scoreless yards. It would have put him at if extrapolated over the course of a 16 game season, had he stayed healthy for that 16 game season and not contracted COVID, would have put him at 1032 and 9.6 touchdowns. Firmly an RB2. Think of what Mark Ingram did in 2019. He was on that RB2, RB1 borderline. That's what James Conner would have finished with had he not been put on the COVID list November 28th and had to endure COVID come back from that mid-season it's hard he never regained his footing if he's going to the Cardinals he's going to be in a better offense with an equitable offensive line better weapons a run first quarterback a better quarterback if he gets the Drake Light role in this offense and commands 13 to 18 touches a game in an offense that gives him every week low end running back to viability sometimes flex play you know depending on the makeup of your roster but he's viable he's a viable fantasy option if he goes to the cardinals and uh the possibility for a blow-up game from a guy like him or a much bigger workload in a great offense if something were to happen to chase Edmonds, if he were to go down then uh, connor would absolutely step into one of the best heaviest workloads and one of the best offenses in the nfl so this is all good news if you are a fan of james connor if you have james connor shares in any short, sort of keeper league best ball league uh dynasty league if he goes ends up going to arizona i can and you're a contender in dynasty i'd put out feelers if you think you can get it for cheap from the keeper owner i'd put out feelers because if he goes to this offense there's no way he doesn't finish as at least a running back three flex option 
that'll be great for five weeks and he could theoretically finish as a mid to high end running back too. You think I'm completely off base? Think I'm crazy? Or do you completely agree with me? Somewhere on the spectrum in there. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.